Wash service levels explained. How do you measure the strength of a wash system? It all starts with monitoring the services that a system delivers, and this requires appropriate harmonized indicators. The Joint Monitoring Program is responsible for monitoring progress on SDG 6. It uses household surveys and other data to paint a picture of current service levels around the world, visualized as stacked bar charts or GMP ladders. The state of drinking water services is determined using water accessibility, availability, and quality indicators. On the bottom ranks of the ladder are surface water, unimproved, and limited water services. Halfway up are basic services when water comes from an improved source within a 30-minute round trip of the home. And at the top are safely managed services piped on the premises from an improved source available when needed and free from fecal and chemical contamination. For sanitation services, open defecation followed by unimproved and limited services form the bottom rungs of the ladder. Above them are basic services, improved and shared facilities that safely separate excreta from humans. As with water, safely managed services are at the top of the ladders. They are considered such when facilities are not shared and when they properly separate, dispose of, and treat fecal waste. Finally, there are hygiene services, classified into three levels. Households with no hand washing facilities, those with limited facilities without soap and water, and those with basic facilities on the premises and with soap and water. Ideally, national monitoring standards and those of the JMP align. Together, the service ladders measure wash service levels, providing important insights on the strength of the wash system.